Welcome back to some Spirit Fairer. I'm Dear Darling, and together we'll continue helping our spirit friends to cross to the afterlife. Where last time we had a little bit of a look at the archives, and now um, we did the, the literary review with Buck uh, number four. So we've got two more left to do. You know that much. And what's happening with Dario and Jackie? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. But anyway. Um. Ye was probably too young to remember the tuna wars. Them was the days of decadence. Not long ago, it been not long ago it been quite a feat to track down tuna in these waters slippery little buggers not just because of the water they was cunning they would outsmart the most skilled fisher folk well the war the war for dominion over these majestic aquatic fishes been fierce numerous pirates were armed in the search of tuna however one day all tuna disappeared from the region, not one in sight. The old tuna economy collapsed. Nowadays, you have to be extremely lucky to find such rare creatures. <laughs> I don't know, it's a tiny bit Scottish here. Yeah. They know how to hide, and they know how to fight. Not like that treasure you just found. Jolly work, Cap'n. I do like saying, I do like saying the word tuna. I'll keep saying it until we get another issue of Luta's Literary Review. Alright, go for it. Well, we uh, need to pass two days, I guess, until something happens. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of surprised that we... I, I, am I meant to do something with Jackie? Like, am, am I meant to do something to advance his story? I, I feel shocked by the fact that we haven't, like, gotten anything. Like, is that just how his story ends? I thought he was a full-out, like, character which we bring to the spirit door and everything. He just... But instead, it's just like, oh, he's here and now he quit his job and he's gone. <laughs> um, I wonder if there was something I was meant to do with Jackie, but it just... No, it would have given us... It would definitely have given us a quest if there was something we had to do to advance. There was no way the game wouldn't do that for us. Um, I suppose what we'll do is we'll drive to... Well, nearby bus stop, so we can teleport at least, uh, should we need to. And we'll sleep until daytime. And then we'll continue reading the archives, because right now we're sort of quite time-gated, I think, by things. Oh, we could also buy the other thing in the vending machine, I think about it, from, um, from, it's not Oxbury. Uh, what's it called? What, what's our hospital called? I don't remember. I, I, I want to say Oxenfree, but that's... It's not oxen free, that's a game. Um, ox. I should remember it. It starts with O, doesn't it? Gosh, what's it called? Oh, oh, oh overbrick. There we go. <laughs> what, why can we not sleep yet? Is it not night time? I thought when Lily comes out, it's night time. I can see the moon in the sky. How is it not night time? Sleep until morning. There you go. Well, pass the time. Draw back the curtains. Ah. I don't think we got another um, recipe thing, did we? For us to like upgrade anything, but I might be mistaken. I suppose if we're going to pass these crates anyway, we might as well pick them up. But um, it's not like the most important thing in the world. Not like we're really hurting on supplies, I would say. Another tchotchke. Not like we're hurting for glims or glams. This came up in um, the other series I'm doing at the moment, Tunic. I was just like, I was calling the, the currency glim glams, and I was like, what game do I call them glim glams in? It was Spirit Fairer. Anyway, we have our files. Uh, so we got we got to Alice. I don't remember Alice's voice. Her secret pie. Her secret pie, though, is actually store bought. Like one. Likes one granddaughter more than the rest, but will never tell. Sometimes dreams of Ang Ansgar's strong arms. Alice was, I, I think, if you play Spirit Fair, I think Alice has got to be the one which sticks in your mind, right? Like her slowly losing the fight to dementia and her slowly losing her memories and being unable to recognize you and mistaking you for like her own granddaughter or something at the end is genuinely one of the most heartbreaking things I remember. And it's got to, it surely has got to be, like, 
you know you, you know you see all these characters everyone's got their favorites and that sort of thing but this is probably the one which people talk about you know i'd imagine you know i don't oh wow we can actually still like do stuff in the background that's weird <laughs> um like it, alice's story was basically she was just like a really sweet lovely grandma like uh, that, that's literally like her whole personality she was just a, the most adorable and sweet grandma and possible and then she just slowly like uh, oh speak of a devil not the devil but i'm gonna see mrs jackie Dear Stella, one one Daria has, oh maybe this is for Katiba, expressed her a desire to receive your visit. Regards, this is this is a caretaker, Overbrook's caretaker. Never mind. Impression sunrise. I'm. Where is Jackie? Uh, well, okay, I guess we'll go see Daria because what else are we gonna do? Um. Yeah, but her, her story is just absolutely heartbreaking. Um, actually, no, no, let's read the rest of the archives, I think, first before we visit Daria. Because I, I don't know how close we are getting to Daria's the end of the story, but, you know, the last thing sort of gave me, like, penultimate chapter vibes. Especially because we don't really have much left on the vending machine. Um, but yeah, Alice's story is just, just genuinely heartbreaking. It's, and I think it's one where the video game medium works really well, because I suppose it's so immersive. You're particularly interacting and particularly... And definitely, oh, we should definitely drive away from um, whatever the sea lion's called, Arnold or something. Um, you're the one caretaking for her, and just seeing her slowly, you know, become, uh, slowly something lose to something which you can't take care of anymore. It's just, it's just genuinely sad, you know? Uh, then what more can I say? <laughs> um... But yeah, anyway, she, she's a lovely, sweet character. Very well remembered. Oh yeah, hold on. Um, Dice Boys vs. EP. We need to look at this as well. Hey, it's the Dice Boys. Look at them. <laughs> That's good fun. Alright. Atul. Now, Atul's... Okay, we'll, we'll talk about a story after I read his facts. What, what was his voice? It was like... Rah, rah, rah. No, that was um Alfred, wasn't it? Caught a fish with his... Caught a fish with his bare hands. Awarded a participation award at wood carving contest. Awarded a participation award. Hmm. Sits down in the shower. Sits down in the shower. Some sadness, maybe. At all, at all, I think is also one that people really remember because you never actually get any closure with him, right? Um, he's just like a heart, a hearty, like fun uncle or whatever. Who um. You, you, as you learn more from the story, you, you eventually know that, you know, despite the bright and happy exterior he ex um, puts outwardly, inwardly, he's definitely hurting or sad for, I don't even know if we find out reason, if I remember. For some reason, oh, wait, wasn't it, it's because he got a di diagnosis that like he was slowly, di slowly dying or something. I might, I might have just made it up, I can't remember. And then he just leaves your boat one day, you know, you throw like a big festival, like feast like cooking like he cooks load of food for your know, like friends and family and it seems like everything's just going well and then just like the next day you wake up and he just goes just no closure he just that's it which i think he's the only one like that which i think is impactful in his own sense because that's always one you i told one you have for a really long time i think it's a very nice way of doing storytelling from a video game perspective you get him very early on he's very friendly he's very jolly and when you start if they start drawing you in you you know Getting you invested in the story as you start to uncover more of a, uh, more of his own inner turmoil, and then just before you can get any sort of satisfaction or conclusion from it, it just ends, because it feels like the party is you know you have a big party, you celebrate his life and everything, and then it's like oh, okay you're gonna now have a heart to heart conversation with him, you'll bring him to the spirit door, and then you'll cry or whatever, but then he just that's it, he's just gone, but there's no more to it. Good storytelling. <laughs> um, do, do, are they all here? They are. Jackie is here as well, that's actually wild. Um, how many are there? Hold on, we, we should split this up. One, two, three, four. Let's do them in groups of four for each episode. So we'll do Summer and Bruce and Mikey. Mickey. And then we'll, before we continue on with other stuff. Summer. What was it? Summer. Things Jean and Quartz are different stones. Once mimic the movements of a sunflower field for a whole day. Secretly thinks Rose's family is weird. I do remember Summer's story as well because it felt like one which was much more um, intertwined with the ongoings of her her own, I suppose, life rather than so much just through rawly her 
character's personality alone you know it's i i guess what i mean is like she's a character who actually went through a lot of growth before you even met her right because she she was like someone who worked i can't remember but she she used to work for a company which basically sort of damaged the environment somehow and then you know she kind of got sick of that one day maybe she was like a researcher i can't remember she, some, something like that and then she you know resented the effects that i ended up having on the environment I and mean, then she got ill or something at some point and then she basically sort of um turned towards like I, I don't really know if it's necessarily true but like hippie like a hippie commune or something like she like mysticism and that sort of thing as a as a way to um become more at one with nature right and she she had a wife called rose who who passed away or something like <laughs> i don't remember like every character has a very sad backstory behind them right and then no it was oh, i can't remember was it like Rose passed away and then Summer got a diagnosis that she got some form of cancer, I feel like. And then, you know, um, she got like weaker and weaker as, you know, finally un understanding, like becoming one with nature. Like she finally felt like at peace with herself and then she got like really bad news that she she was dying. Was it? it was something like that. I don't remember. Anyway, Summer was an awesome character. She was like, a, she was a very good like sort of guide, I suppose. <laughs> You know, her her and Gwen in two different ways. Gwen much more like roughly edged while Summer's much more sort of like at one with nature and very calm and peaceful. That's perhaps how I describe it. But she she had one where, you know, her event is like facing off the dragon, um, of the waters, the corrupted dragon. Or no freeing the dragon of corruption, which is like um a representation, right, of her own um view of her own failures from the past of like damaging the environment or something but also there's like a double double heavy lifting of like representing her relationship with her cancer i suppose and her fear fear i suppose of it which is fair enough it's, it's a scary thing to ha happen to you you know to anyone right i think i don't i i feel like that's her story if i remember correctly i might, I might have just made that i might just be making this all of this up to be honest but whatever what's bruce and me hey bruce and mickey Thinks you don't need, thinks you don't need, thinks you don't need to, re oh wait, thinks you don't need to know right now. Loves Marvel on everything. Says Mickey has never lost a fight. <laughs> hey, bada bing, bada boom. Hey, thinks you don't need to know right now. I don't know how to do a New York accent, I'm going to be honest. Bruce and Mickey, my, Mickey, I remember, but, but these are people in, who were in Stella's ward. They were uh, brothers, or brothers in quotation marks, I don't remember, where Mickey had like crazy anger problems it's very much like a of mice and men situation i haven't even read that book um where like mickey like didn't know his own strength and they, they were like gangsters right or something or they were like part of a gang and then something happened at one point which bruce blames himself for which ended up with mickey being like put into a coma from what i understand and it was like a coma he he wouldn't wake up from it was like he was like rendered um, brain dead or something right but bruce you know obviously unwilling to accept that fact like the, the pure denial of it basically kept pretending that mickey mikey was alive i suppose maybe in a way to wrestle with his own guilt about it in the first place to be like oh yeah he's still alive you know it's not my fault etc etc but um not that it was his fault in the first place but you know guilt is a very powerful thing um and then that's why he such has such an abrasive and aggressive personality right he, he's very like snappy towards everyone in them in the care unit from what that, that's what i recall their story being which is also very an interesting one i also do think they are not very popular characters as well because they're so snappy and aggressive which is fair enough they are quite aggressive <laughs> but it's just very interesting oh the, the daria hello this place is really bright and colorful it is done stella you are here i feel i how do you do you like my paintings I, I, I need your help, S Stella. Another time away from here. Oh, d do we take you to the spirit dog? You know what I mean, do you not? The doctors, they, they will not say a thing. Not if I am going with you. They know better than to protest. They know what it all means. It is... Let us go. Take her to the spirit door, right? Bring Dara to the other door. Space sticks. Experience the colours of Cosmos in stick form. I don't know why I didn't buy this, but... We bought the vending machine clean. 
Let's have a look around this place, I suppose, before we actually take Daria there. Look how bright and colourful it is. Instead of dark and dreary. On a mo Monday morning, dark and dreary. What is the point of buying the food, though? Do we even have a food still? I mean, we've got that food. We do have some of them. Feels a bit strange. But look how colourful everything is. My word. It's just so bright and vibrant. I mean, this is what Daria's mind is like. But you know, no, no, no one ever gave it, gave her a chance to express it, or stuck with, stuck with her to see it. So, you know, look how bright and vibrant all the the people are here too. And it's such a shame that Daria has to go. I'm talking clean clean. I'm like eating off the floor clean. Something to be proud of. Like you can see reflections. It's so clean. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna dream about cleaning floors tonight. Oh, about clean floors tonight. Are you two okay? Hope we find a seafloor. Oh, have you ever found this person yet? You're you're the cleaner, right? I don't remember. Something like that. I don't know if there's anything else for us to do here, Overbrook. I'm so confused. We've brought Daria to the Overdoor, um, the Everdoor already, and we haven't even seen Jackie anymore. I, I guess Jackie's another at all situation. He just that's it. He's just gone. I, I will look it up just to double check if I haven't missed something with Jackie. Because it's very likely I probably have. Thank you, I was about to do, but this is a good start. I wonder if Daria's like left her flower for us. Because I don't know if it makes sense to bring Daria without like Jackie here, but I, I don't even know if Daria particularly likes ja um, Jackie, to be honest. Very strange, but what a colourful place this is now. And it's a shame that we have no reason to come back here. That's it. But off we go, Daria. I, I wonder where you'll stay. I guess in the guest room? I don't remember where the guest room is, to be honest. Oh, can, can we build you a house? No? Where, where are you, Daria? You know, I mean, I can't. Are you in our room? I guess that would make sense. Oh yeah, there she is. <laughs> um. Okay, for, for one, let's sleep until morning. No, okay. For one, what I'm gonna do, because we don't have enough time, I think, to bring Dara to the Everdoor. Really, I want to do it at the start of the next episode. Spirit Ferret Jackie. Is there more that we need to do for Jackie? Quests. Okay, let's see. Stop shop. Talk to Jackie. First pay. Find the first patient about Jackie. Is it the instant? Is this the one where? Once you once you give Dario a strange instrument from one of her quests. Does it say what the strange instrument is? I don't understand it still. Jackie will get mad at you, and then the quest will end. After the quest ends, you'll get a shenanigan from a spirit, and you can continue from there. Yeah, I think we've done all the shenanigans, right? Hummingbird Preservation Society. What? Windmill improvement. Orchid improvement. Cow's top. Paul vs. Simon? Simon? I don't know if we've done all this. What achievements do we even have left to unlock? Whoa! I did not mean to just jump out. I guess we'll try and get all the achievements, maybe. Um, make all the spirits reach a static move. Okay, we can't do that. We have to restart for that. Finding shelter or sheep. We're not going to do that. Sell at least 200 items and one hidden achievement. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Did not mean to accidentally jump off my own ship. Um, I'm just trying to figure out... Jackie, perimeter sweep. A passenger has complained about late night noise, but I'm not sure what this could be. I should look around the boat. Talk to one of your passengers. Find Jackie in Gwen's lodge or the quest room if you still have Gwen. What's a quest room? Quest room spirit. I mean, I don't have Gwen, but at the guest house, I see. Talk to Jackie to complete this quest. You must collect Daria's spirit flower and overbrick in order to receive it. Okay, so Jackie's story is after Daria's, Daria's story. Interesting. Well, okay, we're going to send Daria off, I suppose, next time. At the start of Spirit Fairer. Um, But for now... Yeah, well, we'll send her off to the Everdor. So I guess we'll... Um, no, I'll, I'll probably remember, right? 
I do, I do want to sleep until morning. And then we can do Jackie's quest. That's interesting. So it's not until Daria's gone that we can find out more about Jackie. Interesting. I'm so curious. Like, <laughs> I, I want to read more about Daria's story. Like, I don't... I'm not... I still don't really understand what condition she has. If anything, I don't want to make assumptions or presumptions because, you know, of course, everyone's conditions can be very different. Um, and I'm not a doctor, so it's, you know, not really fair of me, I suppose, to assume. But um, that, that's also very interesting. We never got... We never make a house with Daria. She she just has her own lighthouse the entire time. It's not a lighthouse, but you know what I mean. Very, very interesting how different these stories are. Like, Jackie and Daria's stories are very different. And, and Lily's, actually. These DLC characters have such different ways of telling the stories. Beverly's is quite standard, I suppose. As it goes. But I think it's just sort of there to flesh out the middle part of the story a bit more. I would, I would, I assume you ever get her really early on. I, I feel like it makes more sense for you to get Beverly later on because then she sort of like is a very nice character and the sea of like quite rude characters you get towards the end. I'm not sure rude is isn't it? It was a quite a way to put it, but you know what I mean. Like having both Elena, like Bruce, Mickey, even like Giovanni as well, all at the end, without like some sweetness from uh, Beverly, I think really makes it a bit of like a, a balance upset, doesn't it? Anyway, sorry, but, uh, these are conversations I should be having in the Animal Crossing episode after I finish Fer Spirit Fair. But for now, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Spirit Fair. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, discussion, shares, greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope we see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>